Thanks for joining us today. My name is Michelle Marcini with FreeWave, and I'm the product manager for Zoom IQ App Server Software. Zoom Link with Zoom IQ is a powerful Ethernet radio with Zoom IQ App Server software that you can use to create and host third party apps. So we just have a couple of housekeeping items before we go forward. Our presentation should take no longer than about a half an hour. Um, if you have any questions, please submit them by a chat to our moderator. And then at the end of the presentation, we're going to address all of the questions. So our goal today is to help you better understand the Zoom IQ app server software option for Zoom Link. This disruptive technology is, is really important, and we're going to talk about why it's important and how it can be deployed. Zoom IQ is app server software that resides on the Zoom Link Z9P or Z9PE hardware. Um, it allows you to combine wireless telemetry with the ability to develop and host third-party apps for intelligent control and automation of remote sensors and devices. With Zoom IQ, you can save money by developing new apps to solve problems that can't easily be done on RTUs, PLCs, or any other gateway. Think of it this way. What if you wanted your RTU to translate from Modbus to DMP3? With Zoom IQ, you can very quickly build a custom app to deliver that functionality without going through a manufacturer. You can also leverage the Zoom link with Zoom IQ app server to perform simpler tasks, such as data storage um, with a MySQL database, which before you would have needed a PLC, even if the functionality was overkill and you didn't need the functionality of the flow equations or any any of that other any of those other features. Most remote outdoor industrial sites use radios such as the Zoom Link PE Ethernet radio to move data around in addition with in addition to a PLC. So what if you could combine those two pieces of equipment for a simpler and less expensive piece of hardware? Zoom IQ allows third party apps to connect to the cloud or you can run it directly um, from the app server so that you can see your data from anywhere in the world on a web-based device and automatically join the industrial IoT. Um, Zoom IQ is no doubt a new disruptive technology with a number of different terms that might be new to you. So you can think of Zoom IQ as a Linux-based Raspberry Pi that resides on a Zoom Link V9PE Ethernet radio. So, Node-RED is one of the many Linux-based programming languages, such as Python or Java or C++, that you can use to develop apps on Zoom IQ. It has an easy-to-use graphical interface to JavaScript. We love it because it's easy for programming novices to learn and use, and it easily connects sensors to the industrial IoT. Zoom IQ is um, a Debian environment that resides within Zoom Link's open embedded operating system, the Linux open embedded operating system. Zoom OS is our software stack. It allows programs developed on other Linux-based devices, such as Raspberry Pi, to be dragged and dropped onto um, Zoom Link Zoom IQ. In terms of FreeWave applications, we've developed a, a prototype small SCADA app that small producers and networks can use to collect and trend and analyze publish sensor data, and access it from anywhere in the world. And today we'll be showing you that sample app. So let's talk through FreeWave's new hard hardware and software architecture. Zoom IQ is the app server software that's hosted on the Zoom Link radio. Zoom Boost is our award-winning performance maximizer, and Zoom OS is the software stack, or the firmware um, of the radio. Today, we're going to present the Zoom Dash Small SCADA app, and in the future, we're going to have a number of foundation apps to help our customers solve many of their most common business problems in the industrial arena. So the Zoom IQ app server is a software option that allows users and developers to write their own apps and integrate them into existing or future RF systems. We've preloaded Node-RED, Python, and MQTT for faster development as well as a Modbus package for our industrial users. So it's, it's ready to use. Um, you don't have to upload any languages to it. Zoom Link with Zoom IQ can be connected to Modbus I.O. devices, such as FreeWave Serial Base, the IOE 4422, 
And you can connect ZoomLink with ZoomIQ to the gateway of any I.O. wireless gateway, such as Wave Contact or even Olean Tech or AccuTech. Most importantly, we can host third-party apps in an outdoor industrial environment. We're at the forefront for development. This is an industry first. Um, this is a bit of an eye chart, um, and we'll have this presentation posted for you. But with Zoom IQ, you can create and host open source third-party apps. You can integrate these into existing networks to solve business problems that maximize operational efficiencies. So what if you can monitor, collect, and control sensor data at the network edge and make decisions in seconds instead of minutes and hours as opposed to having to communicate to a PLC, make a decision from there, or communicate to a SCADA system and make decisions um, from there. It's faster and, and much more efficient. This technology allows you to combine wireless telemetry with the capability to develop and host third-party apps so that you can very intelligently control and automate remote sensors and devices that are out in the field. Integrate into existing wireless networks to maximize their functionality and solve your business problems without the need to reach out to manufacturers to ask them to develop products to solve problems for you. This helps you be the master or mistress of your own destiny. ZoomLink with ZoomIQ is optimized as a developer tool with standards-based operating systems and languages to help you develop apps more quickly and easily. Node-RED is a powerful language for novices to minimize time to implementation. Our pilot customers have improved their productivity with ZoomLink app deployments. The Zoom-Small SCADA app, which we're going to show pretty soon, can be used by small facilities and producers to create a very inexpensive and customizable small SCADA system. You can use ZoomLink for data storage and publish sensor data to the cloud, or you can actually access the data from the ZoomLink for remote monitoring. Next, we want to show you what a small SCADA app can do. One of our service engineers, Greg Corey, created the prototype Zoom-Small SCADA app to replace commercially available small SCADA systems. Um, these small SCADA systems make their money from, um, from installing a small PLC type hardware and then uploading the hardware into a remote server, and then they charge monthly recurring fees. So these companies host data on their own servers. Small companies, and, and, and it's really nice for small companies so that they don't have to install a comprehensive and expensive SCADA system. Um, these companies pay monthly fees um, per sensor to retrieve their data. We had one customer that told us they pay $300 a month for endpoint um, for one of these small SCADA systems. With this functionality, you can install the app on a Zoom link um, and, or on the cloud and trend and transmit the data either directly from the Zoom link or from the cloud. Zoom link monitors analog, digital, or heart data interfaces through, um, through Modbus. And so it tracks your data, triggers alarms. For example, if you have a tank level that's high, turn off the pump, and you can make you can command directly from the app. Um, it stores data, and you can also send alarms to cell phones, um, to by text message, by email. You can even post it on your Twitter account with Node Red. Um, you can do any of those things, and you can make changes to the system on the fly without having to contact a manufacturer to change the product for you. So this is this is actually a cut and paste of the home page and we're going to show you the Zoom Dash next. Um, with Zoom Link and Zoom IQ, you can get your data directly from Zoom Link without subscription or cloud fees. You can also host your app on the cloud and pay cloud fees directly to Amazon or any of those services. These systems are completely customizable and they can be scaled as your network grows. You can add new sites or add new sensors. This system is not only compatible with wave contact, but other systems such as Olean Tech and Agitech. So let's take a look at the demo, which is my favorite part. Um, this is a welcome screen that we showed before. And so what we're doing here is that I'm attached, I'm unconnected by internet, and I can do it by, via um, in, in other ways as well but I'm connected via Ethernet to the Zoom with radio. So from the radio itself, this is 
where the, the radio itself, the Zoomlink radio, is hosting this app, and I'm getting the user interface from the radio. So in the main screen, we've got information about the radio itself. We've got the site name, which in a previous demo I named the shell number 762. Um, we've also got the last, we, we can also post system alerts here. Um, and then the last note, you can actually input notes into the system, was that um, Greg replaced the coax cable on the demo. Um, we've used a really small fraction, nine megabytes of the storage. We've got about a one gig of storage and 512 um, meg RAM. And then you can also later in the demo um, set the pressure logging interval or the tank level logging interval. So what we're going to show you today, let's go back to the welcome screen, is that we have three wireless pressure endpoints that we've connected into the wave contact gateway. And then we've got two um, endpoints that are connected um, by heart to a couple of level sensors. Um, the, the gateway is connected to the Zoom Link hardware by um, Ethernet and Modbus TCP. Um, and so, so right now what we're doing is pulling data from the network itself. So let's take a look at the tank statuses. We've got two tanks, and in each tank we've got, we're measuring oil and water. We're measuring on two different levels. And so you can see what the instantaneous data is looking like, as well as trended data. And you can set the data for, um, you know, to, to show you a day or a week or a month, so that you can troubleshoot from your well pad or from your desk, or say if you're on vacation in Greece, you can uh, monitor it from there too. Um, this is the pressure status, and in this simulation, what we're modeling is tubing casing and surface pressure. Um, it looks as if the surface pressure is offline. It was taken off um, a couple of days ago, but you can see that this is something that would appear on, on, your, um, on your dashboard, and you know almost immediately, well, pretty immediately if it came off, offline. So in this case, you could send someone out to um, put the pressure sensor online again. And you would get an alert if that's the way you set the system up to do, um, and, and you would have that information. You can also check the radio status. Um, the thing, there's a signal level and signal margin, signal margin. Um, the endpoint status, so for the wireless pressure sensors, you can see that endpoint number three for the surface pressure is offline but the tubing and the casing pressure sensors are there. And you can also see that the batteries are pretty fully charged. This is one of those things that, that becomes very difficult to see if you have a sleepy endpoint, um, devi endpoint device attached to your sensor. You don't always know when it's going to run out of power. And this way, you've got immediate access, and you know exactly where your power needs are. You can also configure. Your, you can configure your wall site. This is where I call it the shell number 762. I'm going to call it the G Cella number 9 because Gisela is sitting, next, sitting with me. And in terms of notes, I'm going to say pressure sensor, pressure, or the pressure sensor, pressure sensor is off. We'll submit that. Um, and then you can also set your logging intervals for the analog pressures input and tank, tank levels. Let's see if that took. We'll look at the main. Sure enough, this is the just cell number nine now, and the wireless pressure sensor is off, which is pretty cool. Now, um, what's interesting about this product as well is that there's a Zoom, or not a Zoom IQ, there's a, a SQL database. MySQL database attached to it. So all this data is going to a database, and depending on how often you check your interval, you could have enough. We've just been logging for about a week. You could have enough data. You could have enough room there um, for a year's worth of data. You can also automatically erase the data. And here I'm querying a table of the results. Let's try the alarm. This one's got alarms in it. So what you can also do is export the data, pull that up, 
into SQL or Word or PDF or and CSE, anything you want. Okay, so let's go back to, and that, that concludes the demonstration. So let's go back to our presentation. So we're going to pick on one of our competitors, and they've got some really good solutions, but we're going to have fun showing this off. And here's an example of what you can visualize in your truck. Um, it's a collage of the different prototypes. Every single screen that you saw, you can have on your phone or your iPad or your ta any, any tablet that you want or on your laptop in your office or your computer in your office. So you can see all of this data as opposed to Olium Tech that promotes products that have LED screens, and they charge more for that. And the reason is that it allows you to troubleshoot when you're out on the well pad. Well, in this case, you don't have to do that anymore. You can be very efficient. Your pumpers don't even need to get out of their trucks. Um, and, and that way you can have really, really efficient day-to-day -day management. So what if you could tr troubleshoot with all the data in front of you um, and also see what the performance trends are doing? Well, that time is here. So Freeway is the first company to offer a really world-class industrial IoT integrated wireless transport solution for industrial process automation that enables execution at the network edge. So what I've got on this slide is at the very bottom I have on the left-hand side, you can see that we have some wave contact endpoints. I've got uh, WC20i that's connected to a solar panel, integrated wireless pressure sensors that connect into a WC45i gateway, and the gateway is connected to a Zoom link with Zoom IQ. That gateway is physically con connected to a WP201 Wi-Fi system um, that you can use to access your app, or you can also connect to another Zoom link radio um, and, and do your backhaul that way. So this is the, an example of a network that you can that, that you could actually deliver into your system. So if you're considering a new Olium Tech installation, choose FreeWave instead. The FreeWave Digital Wellpad integrates ZoomIQ with Wave Contact, which is a Class One Div One intrinsically safe I/O solution. For a total solution that includes I.O. as well as a small SCADA system and Wi-Fi, you can natively use ZoomIQ as a small SCADA app to log data, remotely identify downtime, and remotely publish data to reduce truck rolls. We have a customizable dashboard that can be seen from anywhere in the world. Wi-Fi is a great part of the solution at the Wellpad as well. This example ROI shows that when you choose a FreeWave Zoom Dash automated system, it costs less than Olium Tech and delivers a better operational ROI than the Olium Tech solution. Choose FreeWave for integrated Zoom IQ small SCADA functionality with less expensive wave contact C1, D1, IO, and Wi-Fi at the well pad. So what if you could automate and visualize low production assets very economically? The Zoom Dash automation monitoring solution delivers a powerful and inexpensive solution. Once again, you can natively use Zoom IQ as a small SCADA app to log data, remotely identify downtime, and remotely publish data to reduce truck rolls. We have a customizable dashboard that can be seen from anywhere in the world. So here's the third use case. What if you've already invested in an OEM Tech or an Accutech network? or an MDS network. ZoomLink with ZoomIQ is still compatible with any of those manufacturers. Simply connect the ZoomLink with ZoomIQ to the gateway and connect third-party apps such as the prototype Zoom Dash small SCADA app to make your system more efficient. With a Zoom Dash automated monitoring system, you can increase production by visualizing data, alerts, and identifying downtime to deploy fixes. Reduce field headcount when you don't need to send someone out to the field site daily and manage your risk by preventing potential catastrophic events such as um, tank spills. Um, this slide is also a 
bit of a, a, an eye chart, but it's still got some really fantastic information on it. When you automate your facility with a Zoom Dash Small SCADA app, again, you can increase production, optimize human resources, and migrate the risk for catastrophic events. Um, if you have a tank spill, an, an oil spill in a tank, that can cost you, if you're lucky, $5,000 or much, much more to clean it up, not including the, the environmental fees that you might get um, from, or fines that you might get from the EPA. So we make it very easy and inexpensive to automate any facility, give you visibility to your process, and send instant alarms to mitigate your risk. So last of all, let's discuss our Zoom IQ pilot program and launch. We still plan to continue our pilot program for Zoom IQ. To join, you can register at the FreeWave website or contact your FreeWave, um, your FreeWave salesperson. We're also going to send out an email after this presentation, and you can respond to it if you want to join the pilot program. As pilot program members, you receive a free hardware software developer. First kit. All we ask is that you upload your app onto our GitHub site or help us write a case study. So you can order today. The GA is scheduled, um, the general availability is scheduled for today. We should have it available by the end of the day to order. Um, a developer's license is no charge. And the way you order is that you would order a Z9P or Z9PE soft or hardware and then order the Zoom IQ option. The customer can order a license fee for shipped products. Um, and what we mean by that is that we've got hardware that was built, um, this is compatible with any hardware that was built on or after December of 2016. You can upload um, the Zoom IQ app server software into any existing radio, and there's no charge for that. So in summary, Zoom IQ is app server software that resides on the Zoom Link Z9P or Z9PE hardware. It allows you to combine wireless telemetry with the ability to develop and host third-party apps so that you can have intelligent control and automation of remote sensors and devices. You can save money by developing new apps that can solve problems that couldn't be easily done today with existing RTUs or PLCs or even gateways. And so you can also combine your telemetry radio and PLC into one device. Zoom IQ allows third-party apps to connect to the cloud or directly to the Z9PE app server so that you can see your data from anywhere in the world on a web-based device. So I want to thank you very much for your attention today. I want to open it up to the audience for questions now. Just submit your questions into the chat. So the first question we're getting is, how can I get the Zoom Dash app? Well, in order to get your Zoom Dash app, it's just like the pilot program. Go ahead and submit your request to the FreeWave website or contact your salesperson. Um, or respond to um, the follow-up email from this webinar. Um, we also want to let you know um, that you can join our Node-RED workshop on October the 13th. Um, we've sent out invitations, and it's a full-day workshop here in Boulder, Colorado. And if, if you haven't received an invitation and you would like to join, please contact us. Information's on the website, too. And we have information on the website as well. So with that, I'd like to conclude our presentation. If anyone has any questions, please respond to the email or um, reach out into our FreeWay website, email me or your FreeWay salesperson. And I hope that you guys have a really great day.